Alright, all right. what's up y'all? It's your boy Rock Man. I'm coming at y'all with some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 nasty action. You know how your boy Rock get down, man. And this one, man, I'm rocking that Scar L. But uh, I'm really not talking about the gameplay too much on this one. Man. I just want to uh, come up on here and talk about a little bit about like uh, what I noticed like with Call of Duty. And basically, it's, it's been like a, a trend that I, I've noticed lately. All the way from, I didn't really notice it in World at War because I wasn't that good of a player then. But I, I did start to kind of pick it up in Modern Warfare 2 on Black Ops. And um, I don't know, some people probably heard me talk about it. Some people probably heard me talk about it in my other videos. But uh, basically about how like when, when Christmas rolls around, you know, we always get the Christmas Christmas noobs. So it, it make all the it, it basically make all the games easier for you. You know what I'm saying? So um, but not only that, not only does the game get easier because, you know, we get to play people that are, you know, a little, we'll just say it straight up, they weaker at the game than we are. They don't know the maps. Uh, they probably not even, they only probably not even serious gamers. Like They probably just put in Call of Duty. I mean, I say on Christmas, we'll probably get about, on each system, they'll probably get at the least about an extra 100,000 to 200,000 people playing the game. And that's that's a significant difference, straight up. Um, and then on, at the same time, too, what also, you know, fixes it, as you see how, like, they just came out with that patch, which has, like, I mean, I guess it's, it's helped out the lag a little bit, but, you know, of course, it's Call of Duty, it's still gonna have a lag because of the way it's set up with the PvP or whatever it's called, you know, uh, y'all a little more smarter than I am with all that technical shit, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, man, so... And then another thing I noticed, man, like compared to like the way it was before. And then I, I was just recently looking at some other dudes' commentaries. And uh, I didn't know that the the lag comp Like I always heard people talk about lag compensation, but I didn't really know exactly what it was. And uh, I guess what the way the lag compensation been working on this one is that it's been hindering the, the people that are host. Because they was trying to fix it to the point where... If you're a host that, you know, you wouldn't get that host advantage. Uh, in all the old Call of Duties, they had the little thing called host advantage. Where, like, basically you'll see the person, like, a few milliseconds probably before they'll see you. And, like, they kind of messed up on it and they kind of reversed it. So now if, like, you were the host, you know, you would see them a, a few milliseconds late. So it was kind of backwards now. And, I don't know, it, it kind of messed it up. But I guess they fixed it. They did that to try to make it more even. I don't really know the whole gist of things. You probably uh, search around to see some other commentaries. They talk about it a little more in depth, but but yeah, I mean, with the patch and stuff, I, it just makes stuff a lot more better. Make the game run a lot more smoother. You get the look at this right here. I called in the AC130 on accident. Yeah, this game right here, crazy man. It seems like Village though. Man, I got a gang of uh, Village gameplays, man. It's uh, you know, I'm trying not to upload that many, but. You know, I like getting the ass clapper. I like clapping a few asses. I like uh, getting in my Reaper. But, man, I don't know. I think uh, I think when on, on Christmas time, man, we get the news, I might have to throw in the specials, man, try and get my, my MOAB. My homeboy, Allen, this motherfucker was on last night just dropping MOAB after MOAB. I'm like, this motherfucker over there fucking with the mob or something. <laughs> nah. But, yeah, man, I hope with the map pack, man, they come out with some better maps, uh, Something better than these. I mean, this map, to me, this is the best map right here. This is my favorite map. It kind of reminds me of, uh, it's like, a, if you if you really think, of, if y'all play Modern Warfare 2, if you played the map, um, what's it called, Rundown, to me, it's a mixture of Rundown and, and, and Jungle from, from Black Ops because it got that creek bed in the middle. And you know how Rundown had that creek bed. I don't know. I, I hated that map, but it's, it's kind of similar to it in my opinion. I see right here, man. I'm, I'm over there working them out. You know, it's, that cave right there, I mean, it's a good and a bad thing. Because you know it's always people camping in there. But, like, sometimes it get frustrated. You know, y'all know what I mean. Like, the people that camp that is actually, like, pretty decent at camping. Like, you really got to be on your A game when you run up in there and kill them. I hate them motherfuckers. But, you know, the easy campers, you know, it's all good. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a difference, too. Easy camper and a hard camper. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. But the other day, man, uh, I was online, and uh, I went ahead and I talked to my old school clan battles 
or game battles. Uh, he was a he was a leader on the the team that I was on. So he was talking to me, and he I'm thinking about getting back on game battles. Y'all, I don't know yet. I'm still still debating. I, I'm I don't know. I feel like right now my skills are still I don't know. I'm trying to get all the way back 100 percent still from from what I was before I left Blackout. So I'm almost there though. I say I'm about 95 percent. It's just that my fluidity. And then I don't know if any of y'all play with those FPS freaks, man. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all, man, my take on those FPS freaks are good, <clears throat> but in, in my opinion, on this game, you don't really need them. And the reason why I say you don't need them on Modern Warfare 3 is because there's no maps like Wasteland. There's not really maps like Jungle. Uh, what was the other map? You know, wide open maps. You know what I'm saying? So like. It's, it's really, that to me, that's all FPS Freaks did was help my aim, like my far, long shots. And since I've taken them off, because mine broke and it, it won't stay on my controller, but since I've taken them off, I've noticed that it, it's, it's made my reflexes better. Like, you know, when I turn on the motherfucker when he's shooting at me on the back or something, it, it's made it better. So uh, all y'all using FPS Freaks, man, they got an upside and a downside. But yeah, man, it's been your boy Rock, man. Go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. All right, y'all. Peace.